All right, so um, yeah, this is going to be um, about the overview of Map 64, the Italian Front, 1915-1918 for uh, Der Weltkrieg, as well as I wanted to try out a couple of things, which is one, A, uh, record this video um, before actually doing the live stream and then just um, play it just like I would do the Calendale playthrough um, during the live stream. So that way I can, um, follow any comments. That'll be, uh, a nice thing to do. Cause I am so far away from, uh, um, being able to monitor the, monitor the comments. And secondly, uh, I'm also going to break this up and try to make like a playlist, just like I do with, uh, Callendale. And when I was doing, um, the, um, Dave Schroeder tutorials, so that way I can um, stop here to show a little bit and then prepare later for, because I want to start talking about um, the specifics of, of the terrain features on the map and how it affects um, movement, uh, combat, uh, Does it? Uh, are you allowed to entrench in all forms of terrain, um, how does it affect uh, line of supply, uh, you know, line of supply, lines of communication, um, what about the specialized units? How do they, um, you know, deal with the, uh, these interesting train features? Th those type of things is what I would like to uh, do in a second bit. So that way, if I can just do this part now, hit stop, do some other stuff and just have a playlist. I think that'll be, uh, like I said, I'm also trying to learn about pacing and everything for the, the weekly live streams. Anyways, <clears throat> so what do I know about the map, uh, map 6-4? Uh, map 64, as far as I know, is um, the only, well, it's the only map that comes in uh, this uh, module, the Italian Front 1915-1918 module. Um, all, there's five separate scenarios that you can play. You can also link them together, and then you can also, as uh, you know, you can get into the grand campaign. There's, in other words, you have lots of options. Um, but this is it. Uh, and like with most of the big maps for Der Weltkrieg, it's uh, a 34 by 22. And um, each hex is 20 kilometers um, uh, wide. Uh, what else can I say about them? I think that's it. But you will, and I'll talk about how they link up in this video, and then, and, uh, and then I'll stop it here. But you'll notice that... Uh, You've got this little bit here and you can cut it out and pop it down over here and I'll show it to you um, on the grand campaign map uh, the the shrunken or the whole thing where I have it all up at the 75% scale but I'm gonna go uh, go down onto my uh, horrible looking floor there and you can see the maps linked up or how they how the Italian front links up with the other maps uh, it's at 80% I haven't put that one up on the um, on the wall yet but uh anyways we'll take a look and so that way you can see how it links up and then we'll go to the uh the one on the wall but uh, i didn't want to start moving the 80 percent uh italian map because it's kind of like underneath and on top kind of thing as you can see here so that's where it it gets underneath um uh, map 5 4 um, which is underneath map 5 3 and if I believe if I remember correctly map 5 4 uh, you get that map excuse me in uh, the grand campaign map uh, a module uh, map 5 3 which is uh, essentially the original uh, that's the Western Front uh, the Schlieffen plan map and then over here is map 6 5 uh, the Serbia defiant map, which comes in uh, the east front um, map uh, uh, module. Sorry. So I'll break. I'm going to move this aside because you're going to see. There we go. So that now we can move it aside. So that part would go down over here. And the re other reason why I'm going to move this aside is because when you get with the grand campaign thing, you see these other little uh, cutouts, and that's to kind of fill in some blanks. And this bit here, you would also cut out to fill out, uh, fill in the blank over here. You'll see in a minute. Uh, we'll go to the grand, uh, uh, the, all the linked maps that I have on the wall that I've been using for the live streams. And then you can see what I mean by the cutouts there. And then uh, I'm going to hit stop and then go on from there. All right, hold on. Actually, I can hit pause. So there we are again. Um, there's the map and how it links up, as you can see. 
it's going up towards here but then there's the cutout which I did I, I, I cut it out and taped it in so that way you know I mean it's I, I haven't defaced the real map and then there's that other cutout so that's from the Italian map uh, the map 64 that comes with the module and then that little chunk I can't remember what the name is but uh, that little bit comes with um, map f uh, five four up there that um, comes with the grand campaign module okay so that's it so the next part of this little mini playlist will uh, hopefully be about uh, discussing uh, the different train features that are on this map and how it affects um, combat oh, sorry movement well yeah we'll go movement combat um, any special considerations such as uh, entrenchment uh, lines of supply, lines of communication, and specialized units. All right.